I can't wait for next month. So I can't wait to be with my father and to see my son. Me too. Only that I'm afraid. I've told you you don't have to be afraid of this. It's true. Uh, this pregnancy has come to stay. The same thing you said about the last one. This is eight months already. All those are pregnancies you lost never got to be seven months. That's enough to tell you when this one has come to stay. Amen. I hope so too. Let's have faith. And watch God approve. <sighs> Such a wonderful man as a husband. You are such an incorrigible man. And every day I thank God giving me an angel like you for a Not again. Ah, not again. Sorry, just like, just like, just like. We haven't walked long enough. Oh, please, the doctor said just 20 minutes. I'll be home in 20 minutes.
I'm so just mad to you. I need to come down.
why I am sitting down listening to you is because you told me of how your wife had several miscarriages even over six times. Otherwise, I would have sished you out of my compound this minute. Sonny, you are evil. This is the height of wickedness. How could you have allowed such an innocent orphan to go through such a humiliation when you are actually the one in position to help her? How could you? Since you've agreed to help me, please tell me where she is and make it. Where's all the man? Do you marry? I will suggest you go back to your wife and find a better way of solving the problem. Oh, I believe really you can help me out. Please tell me where she is. Olomba is dead. If that is what you want to be. She died. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard.
so I'm going to leave my life. Being a diary woman. I I remember taking the vow.
Sonny, it is good to be the way we have known each other. Do you understand? I am not your love. Stay away from me. I've been here waiting for you all day just to set my eyes on you like I do every morning before going to the site. And, and here you are telling me these stories. It's not fair, man. You're waiting for me. You think I'm not here? You think I'm not here about what you and your colleagues do? How you go about it? Uh, spoiling and impregnating your village girls? I would never be a I will not. No, I'm not like that. Ask people about me. I'm not like that. I'm different. Listen to me. What I feel for you is not love. It's undiluted love. Just give me a chance. You know now. Who are you telling that one? What do I know? I do not know anything. Leave me alone and do not come to me again. Leave me out. Are you deaf? I said you should leave me alone. If you touch me again, I will scream for the whole villagers to come out. And if they come out, you know what that means. Don't touch me. Here, I'll give you a little card. Yeah, sorry, what's up with you? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, you're not feeling all right. I'm going to call you. Since you are red set, you'll be feeling strange. What's the problem? Oh, my God. That's a big deal for us. Hey, the warrior. I'm always joking. Yeah, I'm talking about something serious. What's his name? Yeah. So you did the wrong side of the bed. Um, I'm not dying. 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 I'm not I cannot afford not to see you every day for me to work. Each day that passes by and I don't see you does not go well with me. It's like I'm empty. You are the source of my joy and happiness. You, you mean the whole world to me. Can you not see it? Why do you love me? Huh? Why do you love me? All this love you've been singing to me like a parrot. Tell me, why do you love me? Why? <sighs> why else would a man love a woman if not to marry her? Are you trying to wash me? You think I don't know? Once you see my nakedness now, you just vanish like a paper. Me? Mm. In fact, you have insulted my love for you. And for that, I do not want to see you in the game as again until you're married. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Any day I demand sex from you, run away and know I want to dump you. I want your virginity to be presented to me as a wedding gift on a wedding night. Yes. Are you serious? You never wanted to listen to me, that's why. Each time I stop you, you just run away. I've been calling you since you, you are very fast in working. Do you know? 
Where can I? What is it? Someone said I should. This is what Someone said. Who said? Shut up! I'm asking you a question and you're saying eh, I'm asking too much questions. Are you mad? I said, who asked you to give it to me? Yes. I will not take it. Else you tell me. Wait, wait, okay, you see, uh, he's that bad that wants to be a white man now for a company, a uh, construction company. So I should give this to you. And now you have to give it. It's not that you take it back to you, return it. I won't take it. I beg you to give it to you. He promised to give me something. Get up from there! Thank you, thank you. He promised to give me something. And you won't let me give you promised to give me one. I could remember the day I helped you to carry my wood to your house. So you would not have done this. Hey, John, you don't do much. Now you won't give me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our son, Chica is called this afternoon. Wants his younger brother to join him in Lagos. Oh, thank God. I'm tired of his so troublesome life. Hey, hey, let him leave this village to join his elder brother in Lagos and see that his mates are already making money in the city. But you can do if Nansu goes to join Chibese and Lagos, who will be running the errands in this house? As if Nansu had been doing anything before. The one is alone, I see around. 
The last time I checked, I discovered it had been on running the new errands in this house. But you know, I don't know so you get married. When she gets married, we know what to do. We don't share crossing the bridge or to the river. The river is too far. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Where are you going this night? I want to go and see the bridge. Our own home meeting is tomorrow. And as a secretary and assistant, we should make sure that things are in I won't waste time. All right. Be sure you don't waste time. Come back in time. All right, I'm You ready? It's a good girl. She's my veggie. She's my veggie. <laughs> That person will never be an auxiliary one. His name will be inducted into the company's database as a full staff. And will be receiving salaries by the end of the month. Not be paid on work as on the local projects like you always. They will be paid as a supervisor by the end of every month. And that person is no other than Sunday. We hear a job. Sunday. <laughs> 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 
I personally suggested you to be white. Do you know why? No, no, sir. Good. I will tell you. Most of these boys love pleasure more than the reason why they are here. They go around the village chasing the village girls. And it is causing destruction, according to the white man. You see, as site supervisor, must know the ethics of the job. He must be focused. And above all, he must have been someone who has worked with the company for a very long time. You should love the job more than pleasure. I have been watching you. You don't do any of those nonsense things with those girls. You are exceptional. And I don't want you to disappoint me. I won't disappoint you, sir. In case whenever the white man comes around, you will see the reason why I suggested you. I, I appreciate this. Thank you very much. Are you sure you are really fine?
you know where you were last night. 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 Now. If you may just like pass by, let's go inside. Inside the bush. No, my sacks are messes around. You might look for me anymore for now. Can you tell me what it is? Now, why are you crying? What's the problem? I have not seen my period. And with the signs I'm seeing, I think I'm pregnant. Though. For what? How? How? Just that once. Hey, you've seen it now. You've seen it. Hey! Wrong timing. Wrong timing. Uh -uh. What is wrong timing? Tell me what to do. What are we going to do? And you're seeing wrong timing. What do you want us to do about it? You tell me now. I don't know what to do. That is why I've come to you. What do we do? You have an abortion. I'm not getting it. Abortion. God forbid. I can never have an abortion. Oluma, listen to me. I just promoted to the position of the sex supervisor. Okay? And they will make it official next month. I see this on news now as a witchcraft sent from the village to come and destroy me. Nobody will do my sign, oh. Nobody will do my sign, oh. Sorry. Not even me. Not even you. Supervisor is entitled to a salary of 200,000 monthly and is entitled to a house and an official car. This is something I've been waiting for seven years in the construction company for. Now you want to come and destroy it, it won't work for you. It will not work. Sorry, are you saying all this to me? What do you want me to do? Why can you not be considered? Eh? Sonny, I swore with my life that I would never have an abortion. That any man I decide to open my legs for will be my husband. I have opened my legs for you, and you've got to be pregnant, and you must marry me. By force? Yeah, by force is in. And I will marry you. Why don't you want to reason? Why don't you want to think? You cannot be forcing money to. I don't care by force. Don't talk like that. I can marry you. Then I cannot have an abortion. I cannot have an abortion. Come here, you must. Even this house, we have family home. Because 
The goods you ordered have landed and we brought them for you. As you can see, she is pregnant. And the pregnancy is for you. And it is an abomination for an unmarried to be pregnant in this land. So we have come to see you to know when you are coming to our house to take her home as your wife. The girl you got pregnant, of course. <laughs> Sorry, did, did this girl tell you I got her pregnant? Sonny, what are you saying? My dear, I should be asking. Please, what are you saying? Sir, sorry, I, I shouldn't say this here, but I, I have to. I'm a child of God. I, I cannot have any are you not the same girl who comes here every night with your laptop? This girl comes here every night and sleeps into some of my colleagues' rooms. Almost every night. And... Wait. You've gotten pregnant and you want to keep it on my neck? Hey. Papa, don't mind him. He's lying. He's the only man that has ever slept with me. And that was just one. He's a man. I don't know. I don't know. Is this the 
That is correct. But it takes the wisdom of the ancient to differentiate between happy and an ugly. That is also the saying of our people. Very good. Mazi. Mazi and Uchi, and I saw something that surprised me. It wasn't very bright. The picture wasn't very bright. So that is why we decided to come to you. To know if what we have seen is correct or incorrect. Oh, no. I can ask of Mufudeba Afuke to find out if actually an elder like you is at home. Why the children mistake a kite for a god? Oh, if I say, Amal. Save yourself the strength. So I already know where you are going. Because these gray hairs are not mere decorations. What you saw is correct. And uh, like you know, I did all I am supposed to do as an elder, as the know, as a father. Take the horse to the stream, yes. But first, the horse to drink water is not my responsibility. You, are you trying to tell us that all of my, our daughter is not yet betrothed to any man? And she's already in the family with the pregnancy. Is that what you are saying? But if you know why, I am the one and I also. He's denying it. Master. If that girl is able to point at a man, show us that man, and then leave the rest. Yes. There is no one who allows such man to go as God's food. Remember, no. We fully aware that the danger ahead of our daughter is much. If he fails to marry her, who are the women? So we would allow that. Thank you, my brothers. I don't know who you are. Amen. Amen. As you can see, I was on my way out. I have an appointment with Tonko. I'm going to meet him. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you, my friends. Hello. Hello, my friend. Hi. Oh. You can see exactly what is going on. But, 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 but I told you. The truth is that this is not fun. And something has to be done about it. This is. An abomination. We can't fool around and watch. Let's go. In this our community, we have much respect and love for culture and tradition. Nobody, nobody dares to. In our tradition, it is a taboo for a married girl to bring forth a child while she is still under her pregnancy. Supervisor, so has it been a very long time, and we don't tolerate that at all. It is better for her to go to the man. That has impregnated her. Otherwise, she vanished. That is that. That is all. Because a child whose fatherhood is unknown to us is an evil child. And in the whole of our community, we don't have our evil. Good. We are explaining all this to you because the girl in question came from the community. She is friends. No, she lost her parents. She is an orphan. No brother, no sister. But I tell you, all other 
all relations of man like our nephews and his uncles. And the entire community love has to Jesus. You better go and talk to your boy. Talk to him. Let him come and get married to this girl. The girl that he put in a family with. Yes. Otherwise, you should be ready to face the loss of this. You hear that? And we cannot throw out our own child. An innocent offer or just a thing. I don't want me. Instead, we will go any length, do anything possible to make sure that that boy of yours gets married to our daughter. Forcefully, I said, forcefully. Hold your head, Madalia. My elders, which of my boys are you talking to? I have many of them. You. Um, Sonny? Yes, Sonny. Yes. Ah, there must be a mistake. I know Sonny very well. Who do you feel like that? What are you trying to do? I know most of my boys do reckless things. Yeah, I'm not seeing Sonny meddling himself in such an immoral act. Did you hear? I heard you. I did. Uh, let him supervise you. Go and confront this boy. First of all, go and confront him. Okay. Uh, at least, it is better you do for our own. That is good. You should. I hope Oluma is sure of what she is saying. Yes. I was about to ask you the same question. She is insisting that the boy is responsible. So the boy said that he never slept with her, but that she has been sleeping around with his colleagues. Hey! I can answer. I'm not going After all the advice I gave you, you still went ahead and live a purposeless life with those walls. So I don't, I don't do carelessly. You know that. So why you don't get to get pregnant? Me. Which girl? I, I didn't get anybody pregnant. You mean no one has comforted you as getting that daughter pregnant? Sir, so a certain girl came here to become my parent once I got her pregnant. And this is a girl I know very well. Who comes into that camp to sleep with almost all the boys there? I made it clear to the parents that I had never had anything with this girl. And they understood me. I can't lie to you. I hope I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you, sir. You know me very well. Ask all about the rest. Thank you, sir. My elders, we are back. Welcome. No, no, no. That is the Sunny we are talking about. I think he has a different view. Sonny, what is it? Thank you, sir. My elders, I greet you all. Welcome. No. The other day, this elder here came to our camp with his wife and his daughter and said the daughter was pregnant for me. And I was baffled. I was shocked. I kept wondering how, in what way. This is a girl I know too well who comes into our camp every night. She sticks in with a lantern. 
Sometimes she comes with very mini skirts and, 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 and very exposing attires. She sleeps in two Oliver's room and, and some other colleagues of mine, even him. And I kept suspecting and wondering what this girl comes here to do every night. All of a sudden, I'm confronted with this allegation that I got her pregnant. And I asked myself, how? I have never as much as come close to her, let alone touch her. So I do not know how on earth I could have gotten her pregnant. <clears throat> See, Oloma is a beautiful girl. And uh, everybody likes beautiful girls. She is that she's a free giver. Yes. So there's no how she can say who is responsible for her pregnancy. Because, uh, you know, uh, she has given the ring. And then uh, she has. Uh, okay. She has. Oh, you go? So she has given to all of us. Is it Sonny? Sonny. Yes. So if. If 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 we talk about who is the father of the baby, it means me, okay, or we go from Sonny. I am sure of that. You see, see, in in our camp, we have changed our name to Sonny. Why Sonny? Oh, so people will stop talking about you know Sonny, 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 Sonny. Stop that story. Stop it! Hey! You don't want it! Are you telling us here that that girl has never entered your room? She has, has never entered my room. Cha 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 cha! I am telling you the truth. That girl has never gone close to your door, but she has entered your room. At all! At all! At all. Everybody knows me. Has never been to my room. At all! But my daughter is insistent. That it was Sonny that impregnated her. Exactly. I am telling you, she does not know. Probably she's, I do not even know how I look like Oliver, that she would not know who is who. I cannot be made to accept a pregnancy that's not mine. Oh, God knows. I go to church, I'm a born in my son. Oh, my. What was the outcome of the meeting? Oliver must be banished. That bastard in her womb was not the harbor of his house. The tradition of the land, no one changes. Do you mean the elders do not want to go to marry her? How can the elders force him to marry her when the idiots deny the payment? Have you had any affairs with her? The colleagues. Said that they were the people that were sleeping with Oloma. Now, who are we going to go responsible? What has come over this girl? What has come over Oloma? Why? I 
Let's run along this house.
my trail, if I don't, then I'll be you, my dear. You promised to love me to the end, now you've left me in the Let her suffer what she put upon herself. Shut up. Huh? We should know better than your mothers. Agnes, my daughters are still living with me in my house. None of them has been forced to leave my house by the police elders. We all know what they do. This innocent girl has refused to find her way back at her house. So don't point her to the mountain. Keep up. What do they do? Madam, no art. What do they do? Abortion. Then, let me be. Let me be. Mm. You want to say that? Haven't you said you are ready? Have you not said? Come on, you must tell me what they do. Come on, you must tell me what they do. You must tell me what they do. Oluma, wait now. What is it? Where are you going? Where do you want to go? Have you not denied me? Why are you asking me? Take your money! If I knew, I 
You are our Jugo's daughter. I can see. I can see her eye. I can see your face. You are the one that got pregnant and was taken to your maternal home. Yes, Oh. You are welcome, my daughter. You are welcome, my daughter. What is it? What are you doing here? What I'm doing here? It's my maternal one. I suggest you go back to me. And why would you say that? That woman is a victim of circumstance. She lost all her children and co-wives, husband and husband brothers. Alone in that house. We are just waiting for her to die. So, uh, stop your mouth. Why would you utter such word? And why would she die? Why? Anyway, my God will keep her alive until I stay in this house. Nothing will happen to her. You don't get the point, do you? What are you talking about? This place is not safe for someone in your condition. Don't worry. I'm a grown up woman. I can comfortably take care of myself and my own child. Thank you. Mm. Mm.
you again. You again. Okay. What can I do for you? What is it? Or whatever your name is called. I don't care. I don't ever want to see you in this house again. Leave me alone now. It is my life. And I will leave it the way I want. Eh? Check out what I will even able to. Leave me now. Go! Oh, I don't want to see you here again. Go! Give me my condition. My daughter, hey. I heard you discuss I with somebody. What that? Hey. I do not even know who she is. She keeps coming here every day to disturb me. Well, she has gone. Don't worry. She wants me one of our neighbor's children. Yes, I told her to leave and never to return. She won't come again. Good, my daughter. Good.
know she's the only one staying in that whole house. She says she no longer sleeps at night. Always her friend. You. And you. Also, I can't. Okay, come on. You don't know what I'm Oh, I said, well, yes, there is no other place except you. That is why I am begging you, my brothers and my friends, to help me. If there is any way we can bring her here, we arrange it in such a way that nobody will know. We speak her here at midnight. Then she will stay here. My wife will take care of her. In as much as she is in the The child remains dead. Give birth to the child. And after that, it is of the child. Yes? Yes. This is according to our culture and tradition. So all these things I've been begging you. I've been pleading. They mean nothing to you. Please. You want us to go against our tradition. Allow that girl with nine months pregnancy to remain in this community. Traditions were made by man, and man can change them. But human life, no man can take. Nobody will know about it. Let us say that. You don't know those men. They will put their eyes on this family. And anytime they discover that the girl is here, they will step up with punishment to the next level. And that will be punishing all of us from this generation. That is worse.
food in the house. We need to eat. Please. Do you have food to give me? I'm very hungry. A woman in your condition is not supposed to go hungry. Come to think of it. What are you still doing in that cost house? Won't you go back to your place? Whatever it is, your life is more important than whatever shame that has made you to leave your place and come to this place. <gasps> if I can get any food from you, I will really appreciate this. It's okay, I'm coming. Let me get you something. God can give whatever circumstance that led to this pregnancy. Children are still blessings from God. Why I am telling you this is because I want you to go back to your people. Throw away your shame. Swallow your pride. By the time you give birth to this baby, everything will turn around for good. Nobody will say anything against you again. They will all love you and welcome you. Please, my daughter, go back. That house is not good for you. I understand. So, go now. Pack your things and leave that house. Okay? I don't want you to spend a night in that place again. Okay? Your life is important for woman people. I am begging you. Leave that house. Please. You're welcome, my daughter. It's okay, stop crying. Why is your face like that? Hey, Mama, I'm very much worried. Paloma? Yes. How can she be staying alone in that house? As it stands now, our hands are tied. No matter how sincerely you want to help her, there is no way you can help her in this matter. 
then I have to go and visit her. At least see her know how she is faring. That's a good idea. Great one. So if you want to tell me so that I will organize some things that you will send to me. We need to organize something I want to organize now. I want to go and visit her tomorrow. Ah, that's great.
please, can someone tell me what is going on here? I am looking for your serious granddaughter, Paloma. What is happening? You. I am coming from Umune village. I am the stepmother of Oluma. I came to see my stepdaughter, Oluma. Please, what is happening? She's in
God, I beg you forgiveness, please. Story is that your wife left you. Now, because of our barrenness, her continued miscarriages, and she has this perpetual cause placed on you. Man, when I had all of this, I said, No, I must come and see you. I don't talk. I don't talk. At this point, everybody is free to say whatever they want to say. I don't blame them for talking. After that, what is going of this whole situation. So what is this cause that you're talking about? And I don't want to go into all of that. It's a long story. All I am seeking out a solution. Going into all that is just the private issues. So have you taken any step for the solutions? When Nina and I was together as well, and she had all those miscarriages, we went to various warehouses in search of solution. And they all told us that I need to work with us to certain media and corporate content. I went in search of her, I did everything I could. I need for me to find out that she was dead. I went back to the same prayer houses, telling them what I found out, that I could not have protest to a dead woman. And then they, they, they came up with another story, saying it, the, the curse was traditional, that I needed to go see traditional solutions to my problems and all of that. It just got me all confused. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Listen, son. You don't have to be confused about this. It simply means that this girl inflicted the cost on you traditionally. That, that means that this solution you're seeking for cannot be provided by these prayer houses. You need an advice of a great team, a great native doctor.
spirit of the dead is greatly aggrieved. No prayer, no deliverance. Nothing can make you have the child of your Lord. But you are peace, the spirit of the dead. Why is my peace? That is the reason I came to see you. I beg you, tell me. What do I do? How do I appease the spirit of the dead? A great dancing ritual shall be performed on you. And before then, you must go and seek forgiveness of the people that own the game. So that they can allow you to go to her grave for the ritual performance. After that, you perform all the marriage rites with them. Then and only then, the cleansing shall be done on you and we shall be free. Who is here? Knock, knock. This boy. You again? I, I am begging you. You again? I just come down here. Okay. Just do one. Nine. Nine. Do not take any rash action. I'm begging you in God's name. Nine. I, 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 it's a matter of life and death. I am begging you. Do not. Like I told you before, the only reason I am wasting my time listening to you is because of the girl you married and kept in your house, who is now suffering for something she knows nothing about. If not for your wife, 
I have no reason whatsoever to listen to you because you deserve to die. You actually killed our daughter, you know? I know. I know. Well, go back home. You will hear from us soon. Thank you very much, Master. God bless you. God bless you for listening to me. Thank you. Any other day, I see that young idiot, that idiot, near this compound, and he just return with the two legs. They don't call me Yuku again. Please calm down. Calm down. I don't have to calm down. That idiot denied it several. He ganged up with his colleagues against my Oluma. Even when she was swearing and insisting that he was the person responsible for the pregnancy, he continued denying. And now he has come to ask for her forgiveness. What forgiveness are we talking about? Any day I get him close to this compound, I will personally shoot him down and face the consequences. Yes, I'm telling you. Please calm down. Take it easy. Why you why I understand your plight, but you just have to temper justice with mercy. It is said that two wrongs can never make a right. You are an elder, my elder brother in that matter. Elders are known for wisdom. They are known for moderation. Please, I'm begging you, do not overstress your anger and, and cause small ruins. Ruins already gone. All of my died out of carelessness. So what other ruins are we talking about here? Eh? My brother, please, let us give that young man the chance to live again. He does not deserve to live. Oh, come on. Just go. I don't want to get angry with you. Go, leave me and that idiot. If I see him, I will finish him. Oh, come on, Adam. just go. Please, just go. Just go, just go, just go. So what was he saying? I don't want to. So that stupid boy went and met me. He should want that for you. He should want you never to set his feet on this compound again. Also go. Was it not that I didn't touch the mind having anything to do with our daughter? He said he claimed after all it was my colleagues that were sitting with her. And the same he dropped colleagues. I'm just thinking. Even before us. Yes. Now listen, listen. Now that all of my things. He wants to come and perform the traditional marriage, right? At the same time, they come the cleansing right. Oh, oh. Ah! Who is ruling who? Actually, who? Who does he think of for? So tell me. My brothers, that is exactly the point. Whatever it is, we cannot change the fact of life and sin. So there is no way. That is why I am insisting that you should flee. Stop it! That boy has insulted us so much. We can't continue to condone the rubbish. Eh? Any mercy. Yes, Subano. Let him go and suffer the consequences of his actions. Listen, my dear, it's okay. It is safe now. We are wrong with this. It's over. I have tried all and all I could, but none of them could get into my plea. Hey! Yes. Hey! There is nothing more I can do. I really wanted to help, but as you can see, my hands are tied. Your hands can be tied. You cannot tie your hands. My, my, my life is in your hands. Eh? Yeah. So, your life is not in my hands. Your life is in the hands of your children. As it stands now, you are the only one that can save me from this situation. That is why I keep coming to beg you. Bikonu, anything you can, just anything, just do your best, I beg you. Please, son, you have to pray to God. Whatever God that you worship, pray to him, talk to him, that he help you out of this situation. Because as it stands now, no other one can deliver you from this situation. Hey! Hey! 
and others. If we continue to say no to that, it means that we are also partaking of his sins. Since he has genuinely repented of his evil actions and is ready to do the right thing by apologizing to our daughter and paying the right price, we shouldn't say no again. Because if we do, like I said before, we would be partaking of his evil actions. Our daughter is dead and buried long ago. Whether we like it or not, he is still alive. Only that we are stopping him from doing the right thing. My brothers, more than ever, I think this is the time we should use the grace of all things that come to grace of Christ. I am Let us have a Elders, these are the marriage items, and this is the stipulated by Christ. I have come to accept responsibility for all the past pregnancy. Take her as my wife.
side. I'm sorry, this marriage will not work. I'm not joking. What is it? I went home, my mother told me everything about you. She made a party for people that know you. And we find that your wife left you. Jesus Christ, you have once married before. Okay, I, I, I was still going to tell you about her. So when? That is not even the reason. And what is the reason? Because the reason why your wife left you. Why the girl placed a cause for you before she died. Jesus Christ, son, I don't want to start having complications in pregnancy tomorrow. In the name of marriage. I can explain everything to you, honey. Listen to me. Trust me. I'm sorry. I have made up my mind. Yeah. You can try someone else. You know what? God is actually the God of us all, the Father of us all. So we are brothers in Christ. God is wicked. God is not true. You cannot talk like that about the person that gave you the life to live in today. Not life! This is life. Do you think I have a life? Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I declare with my mouth, I declare with my mouth, that you are Lord over my life, that you are Lord over my life. I believe in my heart, I believe in my heart. 
my heart that God sent you and God sent you. He died for me to die for me. I believe with my heart, I believe with my heart that your death on the cross of Calvary and your death on the cross of Calvary has paid for my sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving me for saving me today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me a man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For giving me eternal life. For giving me eternal life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise you the Lord. 